No, uh, this. Scrap with thick paper music for any you. When you put it in, for you to count AC temperature. There's no way the conference room and the music menu look the same. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? Or did they make some kind of set? Damn it! There's no way the conference and the music venue... Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? Or did they make some kind of set? Or they might have tampered with the camera. I still can't believe he mixed up the filming locations. Hajime, you're pretty stupid. There's no way the conference room... And the music menu look the same. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? That must be it! What the killer did was make the music venue, the crime scene, look like the conference room. They did that by using the black curtain hanging at the back of the stage. Yep, yep. From what I remember, there used to be a really flashy curtain, but after the incident, it somehow became a plain black curtain that didn't seem to be the right size. That's right! It's so half-assed, just like Monami. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, your face looks stupid! That curtain was hung so the music venue would look like the conference room? In actuality, even though the curtain in the conference room doesn't stand out, it is a black light-blocking curtain that's long enough to reach the floor. I see. The conference room. Indeed, the floor of that room is... the same color as the music venue stage. Mm -hmm. So the killer chose the conference room because they realized the floor matched. Matching floors, matching curtains. I guess it makes sense you'd mistake the two. But that's not all. There should be something else the killer did to tamper with the evidence. Probably. A candle? I can prove it with this! You're referring to the candle and the music venue, right? In the video I saw, a candle was used for lighting. But if you think about it, that's pretty strange. The music venue has good lighting, so there's no reason to even use candlelight. But wouldn't they have done it to make it feel creepier? That might have been another reason, but... The main reason was probably to tamper with evidence. <laughs> The lighting in the conference room and the music venue are so different. They couldn't be used during filming. That's why the killer used a candle as film lighting instead. Which means... Are you saying the candle in the music venue wasn't actually used? That candle was likely placed there just to make me think it was the same candle that was used in the video. Mm -hmm. With candlelight, you can't see things in that much detail. Maybe they were going for that effect. With that cheap-ass camera, it won't capture much in a dark area. As long as this all matches up, it should be no problem to say this is decided. I'm just really curious on the why. The video I saw wasn't filmed at the music venue. It was actually filmed at the hospital conference room. If I'd found proof that evidence in the conference room was altered, we would have reached an answer sooner. But it appears the killer already covered that up, so I didn't find anything when I went there. But there's no mistake. That's the only place within the connection range of the surveillance camera. The motel would have been too far, 
And the interior design of the movie theater is too distinctive. But this must be a surprising turn of events for Hajime. Yep. You never suspected that the video you saw in the hospital was being filmed in the conference room. The incident isn't happening at the scene of a crime. It's occurring in the conference room. <laughs> um, if Ibuki's hanging video was filmed at the hospital's conference room, then was Ibuki killed at the conference room too? I don't think so. No, that's not possible. Right after Hajime saw that video, he discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue. The person wearing the hint bag in that video wasn't Ibuki. It was the killer pretending to be Ibuki. The killer put on a hospital gown, wore a hint bag on their head, and was only pretending to be the victim. By that time, the real Ibuki must have already been killed. Yep. The actual time of death must have been earlier. Probably around midnight or dawn to avoid witnesses. If they took Ibuki from the music venue to the hospital to kill her, there's no way it happened during the day. Was her sleeping with me on purpose? But why did the killer go to the trouble of making a fake video just so Hajime could go to the crime scene? To throw us off? Listen, the killer made a fake video. There's only one possibility I can think of. And if I examine that possibility thoroughly, then naturally the killer's identity will reveal itself. Huh? You feed! Are you saying you already know who the killer is? I don't like it though. You're the only one. Nico, you're the killer, aren't you? Um, what are you talking about? Like I said. Aren't you the killer who murdered Ibuki and Hyoko? You're the only one that makes sense. Killer? Huh? I'm the killer? What is this? Uh, hey, don't you think that's kinda impossible? Not at all. A chick like her as the killer? She couldn't even kill a fly. In fact, the fly would probably kill her first. Probably true. She's right! I don't know how she killed Hyoko. But we're the only ones. Thanks to that video, we're the only ones who have the advantage of an alibi. An alibi? Was that the killer's goal? Now that you mention it, you guys brought that up earlier. Only Hajime and Nikon have an alibi. It's just a coincidence! But you're the only one who could have filmed that video in the hospital conference room. Is that also a coincidence? <laughs> You said you were going to the on-call room, but you actually went to the conference room. That's when you put on a hospital gown that you prepared in advance, put the bag on your head, and began filming. By doing that, you made up a video that showed Ibuki trying to hang herself at the music venue. Why am I showing that to me? I literally had no, no thought that this could be the case. Furthermore, I saw that video at the hospital lobby. If someone wants to go to the conference room from outside, they have to pass through the lobby. 
So it's impossible that someone who wasn't already in the hospital went to the conference room to film. Not only that, the others in the hospital, Akane and I, were both delirious from the despair disease. So that must mean... Please wait a second! What are you saying? I'm the killer! That's what it seems like, Makan. Prove me wrong. That's impossible! There's no way I could kill someone! It's not literally impossible. Can't you give a better defense than that? She shows she can't even do that. Hey, you sure this chick is really the killer? Wrong! It's totally wrong! It's not what you think! So hard to, like, doubt her with that freaking voice. Just like Akane said, it is really hard to tie it all together. I mean, Mikan is the killer? I agree. It is truly difficult to believe someone could be killed by such a slow-witted woman. That slow-witted remark is not necessary. <laughs> it's fine. I've been like this for a long time. In a tournament for social punching bags, I'd easily win first place with my soft reputation. Oh, poor McCann. Even I can't deny that. How many times do I have to tell you? It's impossible for me to kill someone. I'm serious. Very serious. I'm not sure how you heal Kyoko. But it's very easy for you to kill Ibuki. What do you say, Hajime? Do you still believe this woman is the killer? Mm, do you hate me that much, Hajime? Is she sleeping with me to, like, butter me hey, up? Hey, Hajime! Uh, um... <laughs> she just has that aura that makes you want to defend her. Hold on a minute. Well, I know I'm being intrusive and all, and I mean, I have no place to say this. I missed all of the critical parts, and I doubt I have anything worth saying at an important time like this. What are you saying? But still, there's definitely no way I can overlook the kill this time. I thought it was suspicious all along, from the very beginning. I have to pull that time battle and get him, aren't I? Investigating with the suspect in mind creates a different result than investigating with no leads. Hey, what are you trying to say? Well, thanks to that, I was able to discover a truth that nobody else knows. Did Makan ask Nikita to help her? Huh? Are you serious? I've been so focused on everybody else this trial. But I guess now's a good time to say it, right? You better not have kept quiet on purpose. This isn't a game, you know! Actually, this is a game! <laughs> Please don't say such controversial statements! Well, what do you know, Nagito? Well, it's nothing big, really. Only a small, decisive clue that points to the killer. Dang! That's a huge deal! A d d d decisive clue? Does something like that really exist? Let's take a look, shall we? Regarding the rope Ibuki was dangling Excuse from, me. this rope was supplied by the supermarket, right? There weren't any ropes inside the music venue. Again with the supermarket? That place is a hot spot for criminal goods. That's probably intentional. If they got it at the supermarket, that means it was brand new, right? I don't know. And what's wrong with that? I want you to take a close look at this rope. And keep in mind that it's brand new. Near the middle of the rope, it's frayed, as if it was rubbed strongly. Huh? But why is it like this? The loopy buki used to hang herself is on one end of the rope. And the part of the rope that hung from the baton lighting is on the other end. Hey, you're taking too long. What's wrong with the rope being frayed? It means, well, from what I can infer, 
I think the rope was used like this. The killer wrapped the rope around Ibuki's neck, pulled both ends at full strength, and strangled her. Oh. I kind of can't have killed her that way. The center of the rope is frayed because that's the part they use to strangle Ibuki. Done. I've been listening to you for a while, and it sounds like you knew about this rope clue all along. What exactly did you say to me during the investigation? Not everyone cooperates at a class trial. Those who lie and conceal the truth will obviously be here too. Just like this case's killer. I was just copying them a little bit. Huh? More importantly, what was all that about the rope? The killer strangled Ibuki. And then? And then... I finished speaking. <laughs> huh? How is that a decisive clue? Huh? You didn't notice it. I thought I made the decisive clue very clear. Abuse for hanging, scrap the thick paper, music surveillance camera, surveillance camera unit, AC temperature. I mean, rope used for hanging is the most logical thing to be used. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. Crushed windpipe as a result of sh choking. The scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. The Monokuma file complicates this too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. Whoever no misunderstood it to... Rope burn is an external injury. Is Monokuma file a thing? No. Is that true? Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. The Monokuma file complicates this too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. Whoever misunderstood is to blame! Okay. I have to take paper music when you pretend. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. Sure, surveillance camera unit. Like, is the mom coming here? File here? No. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave. The rope was used for hanging, according to McCann. There is no doubt that Ibuki's death was her hanging herself with this rope. 
Oh, it's Makan's fancy. I mean, obviously, I think Makan's the killer. Scars, you mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Makan said so. Did we fall for someone's lie? That must be it. So that's what happened. We've been falling for the killer's lie this whole time. Huh. But she had no external injuries. You said Ibuki hanged herself. But that was a complete lie, wasn't it, Mikan? That is... well... You told us the wrong cause of death. You lied, didn't you? <laughs> you should have been able to tell the difference between hanging and strangling, just by looking. I would have preferred if she just hanged herself, to be honest. She had that whole gullible disease. You, Mikan, the ultimate nurse. Great help to us so far. But even a drunk medical student can notice the difference between a hanging and strangulation. I'm not taking her side or anything, but being clumsy and unskilled in this area could lead to a mistake. He's totally right. <laughs> I'm such a clumsy mess, and I got so careless. Mikan nursed me till I got better. There's no way I'm gonna doubt her. Don't you think her devotion to nursing is what helped her draw Ibuki to her death? Huh? And if not, her symptoms were still very serious and caused her to believe what anybody told her. It wouldn't surprise me if she willingly followed Mikan because she was nursing her. So, so Mikan volunteered to nurse us? Because she was planning to do this all along? I don't know about that. That's a little... Aren't you like the thief who suspects everyone else of being thieves? I'm not a criminal. Mikan is. I mean, she's a killer, you know. You got it all wrong. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can forgive you. Is there a world Nagato's the killer? I just can't forgive this crime at all. Why, Nagito? What's up with your tone, anyway? Um, forgiveness or not, we still have not decided if Mikan is the killer. <sighs> hmm, I see. You guys are kind. Well, if that's the choice everyone makes, then the only thing I can do is back off. Why can't I you guess? accept her being the killer, Nagito? Wouldn't that mean her hope is strong enough to make through or something like that? But is that really okay? Is that everyone's hope? You're friggin' annoying! If you keep talking, I'm seriously gonna beat you up! But Nagito wasn't sentient enough to frickin' kill her. Unless he was acting. That could be possible, but I don't see why he's throwing her under the bus. Is it because she killed two people? But if she if he helps her, then everyone dies. But I'm really, really not the killer. Although I did feel. I did feel his forehead and it was burning up, so I guess that means he was sick. There's no way I'm capable of killing someone. Is that really true? Oh. Stop it already! 
already! That's enough! I can't stop! <sighs> Am I gonna have to bullet time battle with I don't want to do this either! Of course I don't want to do this! But I need to do this! So we can all survive. You, you doubt your friends? That's not it! I suspect them because I want to believe them! What, what the hell does that mean? Um... I don't think belief and doubt are necessarily opposites. Huh? Mm -hmm. I do doubt her. But I still want to believe her. Belief lies at the heart of that conflict. Yeah, prove me wrong, Makan. Please. Cuz... If there's no room for doubt, then there's no reason to believe, is there? D don't say deep stuff. I don't really get it. If you want to believe in someone, you need to overcome doubt first. Belief without doubt is simply a lie. <sighs> Fine. Do whatever you want. I won't stop you anymore. I'm really confused at Nagito's behavior here. Huh? Is that all you can say? What? Ah, so in the end, you're all just a bunch of bullies, huh? Hey, Mikan, how you doing? Justifying your actions with fancy words. Making excuses for why it's not really your fault. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Everyone always treats me like that. That's such a weird tone. It's all her fault. She's the one with the problem. I'm done with that. You hear me? I'm done. Oh crap! She snapped. Hey, hey, Mikan. It's not fair. It's not fair. Not fair, 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 not fair! Why won't you forgive me? If you did something wrong, you'd forgive yourself right away! Jesus. What did I do? Why won't anybody forgive me? Not sure what to make out of this. Is acting like this your strategy now? Well, this is annoying. You confuse me, Nikita. Plus... To be honest, I've run out of ideas. How can we get you to admit it? That's the issue. If we don't have any clues, why don't we have her give us some? I'm the same as Hajime. I don't want to doubt any of my friends. But still, the truth is one of us murdered two of our friends. Uh -huh. That's why. We gotta stick with this until the very end, so we can finally I, break I these notice. chains of despair. Like Amaru wasn't... didn't have a sign, so that's a good sign. Or a good not sign. Hey Mikan, can I ask you one last thing? If you're not the killer, then who fabricated that video Hajime watched? Like I said, it obviously wasn't me! Can you prove it? Please do. Wait! Do you have any proof that I'm the one who fabricated that video? Ah, that's right! Show me your proof! <laughs> because you're just assuming the video was filmed at the conference room. T -t Treating me like a killer based on an assumption. This is Just gonna be a bull time battle or it, Is this broad really okay? She's emotionally unstable. <laughs> I'm not the killer. This video. I never filmed the last video. Hmm. It seems she finally started arguing for us. But the only one who can find the hole in her argument is you, Hajime. Yeah. So. I'm going to leave this to you once again. You're totally the freaking Kyoko at the screen, Chiaki. Wow! 
Why do you get to decide I'm the killer? Where's your proof? Please, forgive me already! Just give me the bullet time battle already. Oh, we're doing truth bullets? 